guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. I'm excited to bring you this comic book review for Web of Venom, Venom. Um, basically, if you've been reading Venom, Donny Cates right now, they talk about uh, Rex and how he was at an experiment in Nam, one of the uh, symbiote experiments. And uh, so this flashes back to it, and uh, it's really good. I thought it was really good. So. If you don't want to know any more about it, stop the video now. If you want to know about the book, I'm going to spoil it. So here we go. So this is also written by Kate. Um, basically, it starts off with some people in Nam, and like these guys are freaking out like Americans. And uh, basically, a, a venom or a symbiote or whatever uh, kills the military, the U.S. military, basically everything. So then you find out guest, special guest appearance by uh, Nick Fury. Well, not a guest experience. I'm sure he's going to be in the rest of it. Uh, that he starts talking about the, a find that they found in Scandinavia, a giant dragon symbiote, right? So they experiment, of course, like they always do. And uh, they start making super soldiers since Cap was gone and everything considering this is in, you know, non times. So, uh, basically what happens is they're experimenting and then all of a sudden they lose contact with all the symbiote soldiers and they're killing everybody. And, uh, apparently Rex Stringland's, uh, code name was Tyrannosaurus. So that could be the first appearance of Tyrannosaurus in this book, or at least that code name. I don't remember it being mentioned anywhere else of uh, Rex Strickland. So there's something there. Kind of an origin story type of thing. So this book should be key. Another special guest, Wolverine. Now I don't think he has his claws yet and they never show him in the book. So Nick says, hey Wolverine, we need you, blah, blah, blah. You need to come to Nam and help us find these guys. And he, you know, okay, fine. So he doesn't know much, right? So they're searching around. Wolverine's having a hard time tracking him and so on. Cause there's blood everywhere can't really sniff them out and then they find the dead bodies and stuff like that and then all of a sudden rex comes out and he's like hey i don't know what happened my symbiote's gone and they're talking to him and then all of a sudden the real rex pops out and he's like that's not me and they get in like a firefight and uh, he like whatever it is turns into the, that so then they're fighting and uh, they're trying to kill it or whatever, and apparently you just can't kill it, right? And so, uh, Rex meets Wolverine for the first time and so on. And then all of a sudden, uh, some of the symbiote gets on Nick Fury, right? And so you're like, uh-oh. And then, what else? Oh, we don't want to get to the blue part. Uh, they just start coming from everywhere and they're fighting and they pull off Wolverine and as you can see it gets on Wolverine they're splitting everyone apart and all of a sudden Wolverine's one of them so that I don't know if they're gonna call that a, a brief appearance or first appearance of Wolverine symbiote it's very short Wolverine comes after Nick Fury as you know a Venom symbiote and then the Rex shoots him, and it comes off him. The symbiote comes off him. So then, uh, you know, Wolverine takes a gun from Rex, and then he shoots Nick Fury and every all the uh, soldiers around him. He realizes that Nick Fury is Nick Fury. It's like a soldier bot, and he sent Logan in there alone. And uh, Logan's pissed. He's always carrying around a knife and stuff. You never see any blades or anything, so I don't think he had it just yet. Who knows, that could lead into that later. Him getting his adamantium. So apparently they find out when the Simmons get hurt that the frozen dragon or whatever uh, is getting hurt. Uh, so they know that now that they're connected. And uh, Nick Fury turns a bomb on to blow up everything in the area, like really far away. So... Then it goes into the, the story. Rex Strickland starts 
talking like in third person, like he's somewhere else. He's telling what Nick Fury what else happened after that whole event because they don't know. So basically, uh, the symbiote gets back on Rex and saves Rex, kind of. And there's a scene where Rex grabs Wolverine and says, We're not animals. And throws Wolverine far away from the blast, right? So you don't really know what happens then. And then, well, you see they all are burning and stuff. So then it goes back to Nick Fury, like, debriefing Rex. And he's there. He's like, I'm not sure really what happened. And what about Logan? And he's like, there's no one left. Like, kind of keeping it a secret, kind of, or something. And uh, then Nick, Nick Fury basically says, hey, will you join, you know, do you want to join S.H.I.E.L.D.? And so uh, maybe keep hunting the uh, symbiote soldiers. And that's how it ends. So it's a really good book. Um, Donny Cates is at it again. Um, the art's pretty good. I'm excited that Logan was in it. Um, basically, it probably could be the first brief appearance or full appearance of Logan as a, with a symbiote bonded to him. I'm not sure. And definitely an origin of Rex. Um, so, and, and the dragon, I'm not sure. I can't remember how it correlates, but... Somewhere in the men they're talking about, I don't think that that's uh, null for any means. But they extract his blood, and that's how they're creating the symbiote. So, um, you know, just like any super soldier program. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that book's really good. I suggest going to get it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye -bye. <laughs>